everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be fitting some beautiful side skirts for the lovely MX-5. So yes, it's side skirt time. The car is already lifted, which is perfect, but first let's actually have a look at this. So these are actually plastic ones. Um, I went for the plastic ones over the fiberglass ones, because I just think they're better, less chance of them breaking. And uh, if you want to pick up a set of these, go to the link in the description, pick them up there. Um, they're probably the best price you can get on eBay. I took a while just to have a proper look through. And um, yeah, they're really, really good quality. They're ready to go. You can paint them if you wanted to paint them. Um, really nice little quality over the top. So a massive shout out to the guys um, on eBay. So yeah, these are the best ones you can buy. And uh, the other side is already done. So first thing we need to do after admiring this beautiful thing, um, what you'll find is you've got three holes at the front. They line up with the bolts down here. So the first thing we need to do is remove these. Now, what's quite worrying is on the first side that I did, after I pulled this off, I found a lot of, um, well, that stuff. Uh, thankfully, it was easy enough to clean up and uh, get some rust protection on. So a little bit of rust converter, oh, paint underneath, it's all good. So. Um, what we're going to do is undo these, hope it doesn't any bolt snap, and uh, we'll go from there. So these are 10 mils, and uh, the first one I'm going to do actually is because I've put paint over them, not probably not the smartest idea in the world, but there we are. Just get the paint off. And um, yeah, well, these are 10 mils, so we're just going to gently undo them. Yep. Well, one came out, one didn't. Um, am I surprised? No, not at all, actually, if I'm honest. I'm not gonna complain, though, because that's pretty solid, actually, so that's good news. At least that one's more solid. Now, if uh, this happens to you, and there's a high chance it will, grab your um, number five bit, move everything out of the way, and just gently drill it out. Make sure you've got So if a, a nut breaking has happened to you, make sure you've always got spare bolts and a tap and die set. So you can just clean the thread up after you've broken it. Anyway, so this now goes in there nicely. No, oh, ignore that. And um, we're now gonna line everything up. Now, to make this easier on yourself, what you wanna do is have a friend. If you don't have one of them, have a jack stand. And basically that can hold it when it lifts into space, um, or lifts into place, I should say. First thing I'm gonna do though, is as we lift it up, Line these bolts up, kick the jack underneath. So yeah, lift it up, line these bolts up, kick the jack underneath, and then uh, go from there. Now, that was no fault of the product. That's just because the car is old and things rust and bolts are always fun. So basically, we got these two bolts in. We're now gonna work our way down with the self-tappers that are included, which are really, really good quality ones. Uh, I was actually quite surprised because I brought a bunch of self-tappers and I don't even need them. So that's fantastic. That just shows how good the quality of this product is. What we're gonna do, got a drill bit. Um, it's a 3.2 piece or drill bit. Um, and we're going to go down every couple of inches, hopefully you'll be able to see, and pop a hole in. And then once we pop the hole, well, we're going to go down, pop a hole in, put a screw, hole, screw, hole, screw, it just means everything will line up as we go along. Um, what I'm also going to do, put a dab of um, silicon to basically help and hopefully stop any sort of holes or letting, out, uh, letting water into the holes that we're drilling, because obviously rust and MX-5s and yeah. You don't have to do that, but that's just me being pedantic. So what we're gonna do is come down a few inches, it's about there, and we're just gonna drill in. See? Find the hole and screw it in. So 
So, that's us on. Uh, if I'm honest, it's pretty simple to do. That side, the side I did first took me like 20 minutes, 30 minutes to do. This one's taking me about 50 minutes because of these bloody bolts at the front here and things just weren't going right on this one. It's probably because I'm filming, it's always a fucking way. Anyway, so what's really good about this one though is I can still use the jacking points. And then you can see how we've just put bolts in right the way down. So we'll drop the car down, get it cleaned up, um, see what else we need to do, and then go from there. So, that is it. Um, on a scale of one to 10, how easy? It's probably a five. It's probably a three if nothing goes wrong. If you don't break any bolts, and every time you drill in, it goes in nice and perfectly straight. Yeah, it's probably like a three. It's pretty simple to do. Um, I'd probably recommend putting the gunk along as you do it. Again, just on the screws, just to stop any water getting in, because that's the last one you want, especially on the MX-5. Um, I'm very, very happy with how they've come out. And they look really, really good. I'll show you the other side as well. And especially with the splitter at the front, it kind of just brings everything down to the right level. So if this is something you want to do, follow the link in the description below, pick yourself up a set. Please like, comment, rate and subscribe. Check around for the next videos. And thank you all very much for the support you've had so far.